hello wonderful people welcome back to my channel and for those who are new to this channel feel at home literally feel at home this is such a lovely place to be i am sally if you don't know me i am such a lovely sweet lady i love to just be on the soft side of life it's beautiful there no chaos and no drama okay and if you're here don't expect drama don't expect chaos we are a lovely family here a very cozy home so feel at home and for all my returning subscribers thank you so very much for your massive support it warms my heart so much and i am delighted to work even way much better because of you so if you haven't subscribed and you're here you're still watching me in a secret place subscribe or even give it a like okay give it a like and let's interact in the comments okay let's interact in the comments but anywho i am in a parking lot my work parking lot it's break time right now I don't have anything to eat i don't have to eat all the time there are people who think that it's break time we have to go eat no to me when it's break time i want to access myself you know i want to go back in the moment i have clocked in to the time i have clocked out who have i impacted how was my conversation with other people? How is my inner self? Am I feeling envy? Am I feeling um, a hatred? Am I feeling, you know, it, it's just a time for me to access myself so that I can have much more energy to go back to work. How do you do or what do you do when you take a break? I know most people definitely, they go out, eat, not for me eating um when i have breakfast i want to have a breakfast that can sustain me all day because i'm trying to just have three meals a day at most three meals a day and to avoid snacking so much because i used to have that habit of just snacking all the time and what happened i gained so much weight and losing that weight i mean i'm still losing um it, it it takes it takes time it takes so much time and work and as a lady weight it's it fluctuates today you are good tomorrow you're not and it's it's just thank god for creating us but anywho what do you do when you take your break time do you just go sit down um talk to somebody or watch something from YouTube or whatever you gotta watch from or do you just go sleep what do you do let me know in the comment below for me like I said it's time to access myself it's time to you know go revisit my inner self how did I treat so and so how did I respond to so and so would I have done it better and that gives me the energy when i go back to work i have a good energy to like either calm down or i need to you know plan to do better for a next person or you know for for my own good and also in the service of god when you're working you're not just working for that employer you are in the service of god you are serving him so in my mind i have to have that i'm here i have to make sure that my attitude is right i mean not all the time is right like this morning let me talk about this morning again okay this morning this dude came to my desk and he said oh my gosh every time i have to pass by here i stop to look at you you are so beautiful so question 
should I take this as a sexual harassment or should I just take it as a compliment? Because it happens all the time with the men at my place of work. I mean, some ladies will say, but it, it, it it's to me, it's a tunnel. It, it's just a straight tunnel. There are people I will kind of like, genuinely receive the compliment because it confuses me is it a compliment is it a genuine compliment or they're just it is a sexual harassment just let me know let me know in the comment below because there are people who just don't make me feel good so with my attitude this morning because when he had when he had said that my eyes just rolled <laughs> Uh, my eyes just went 360 in a second and then again I caught myself I'm like oh my gosh what did I do but then I'm confused do I take it as a compliment or do I just ignore it and feel offended so those are kind of the things that when I come sit down in a car or whenever I go for break I'm accessing them. I'm going through my feelings. How did I feel? How was that person? How, you know, when they approached me, how was their energy, their actions? How were they, you know? Because sometimes when you're busy, you might not kind of like feel the other person energy. You might not see their reaction. And when I sit down here, I'm like, you know what? That man, I mean, he, I think he was genuine, but I don't think I would give him a pass for the second time. If he says that, I will stop him. And, um, yeah, those are some, some kind of the things I'll be sitting down here and accessing. And also, like, my manager came in and she was like, oh Sally you know you didn't do this last week I'm like I wasn't here last week I only worked one day and that one day that was I worked you were you were not here and the things I did was pretty much retraining because when I got back I found myself that I had so many trainings to do continuous training and I took that day to just get them out of the way so I don't have to do any training this week or next week. And that's what I did. So I did not work at all. And she came to me with kind of like a bad attitude, I want to say. Because from her facial expression, to me, it wasn't right. I registered it to be like bossy in a way. But... I could be wrong again. I could be wrong again. I'm still going through that interaction with her uh, and trying to see how I can get better, you know, going back to work. I don't want to continue feeling like she has been mean and maybe she wasn't. If I have to address it, you know, I will address it with her. But again, it's, it's how many hours passed? Like five hours? I don't want to bring it up because she might be like, oh, why you didn't tell me? Or maybe she might be on another, you know, attitude that I can't deal with. But, yeah, you know, that and so many things are the things I would sit down and start going through and, um, you know, talk to my inner self, talk to Sally Sally, you need to be a good listener. Sally, you need to slow down when people just tell you something. Listen to them. Sally, you need to either stand up for yourself. You know, I, I'm just talking to Sally. This is the moment that Sally it gets to be in a quiet zone that it's literally a timeout for Sally. <laughs> That she just get to talk to herself and 
listen to what the inner voice responds to her. And I'm grateful because by the time I go back to work, I have a good energy. I have a good mindset. I am just peaceful and calmer. What do you do? Again, let me know in the comment. When you take your break, do you just go sit in a car and sleep? Or are you, in, you know, what is it? Mingling with your groupies and talk whatever you guys gotta talk. Or are you just catching up with an episode or a TV series? Whatever you do, let me know in the comment below. As long as it's positive, y'all. Let me know in your honest way. What do you do when you take? Your break. I have explained what I do when I take my break. Um, I don't have to eat. Actually, I never eat at all. I'm just seated somewhere and just access, you know, examine my inner self. And when I go back to work, I am challenged to either do better or either to slow down or to not do nothing. Period. It's either of those things. But Today, when I go back to work, I am spirited. I have good, full, I am on full mode, okay? I am on full battery. I have all the juice in me. <laughs> I am energetic. That's how I feel. Because it's been a good day so far. I mean, I, I trashed the bad feelings I was feeling before. And I don't have them anymore. So I'm good. My sweater is on. My helmet is on. You, you know, you might not see it, but it's there. I'm ready. But I will see you tomorrow with another one. Take care and peace of Christ.